I'm Denise with Artist Heart Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey Nisi. Hey Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose. It might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Hi, you guys! I'm so happy you're here with me today. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I am going to create bunny hugs today using my favorite art supplies. So welcome so much. First, I want to start with... What's in the Amazon box? Mm, some of my favorite stuff. Do you guys get as excited as I do when the box shows up and you have stuff in it? So I've ordered some of my favorite art supplies. I want to share with you because that's probably the number one question I get asked all the time is what supplies do I use? What colors do I use? What size is something? So this is one of my favorite products I tell people to get. All purpose value art brushes. There's 25 brushes in there. So this is great if you have a group of friends over, you guys can share these and they're like pretty economical. So you can get a, several packs and everybody just shares them. So I love these variety of sizes. I don't want to tell you specifically what size to use. But that's just one thing in my Amazon box, right? The other thing, again, you guys love this. This is a sketchbook, but it's canvas paper. So it's mixed media. You can use any type of supply on here. You can use acrylics, watercolor paint, oil pastel, any kind of material you want. And I order the big one. There's 60 sheets in here because you guys know I create every single day. But it's awesome. And then that way you don't have the real thick canvas around. Now I'm using a, a regular canvas today, but I highly recommend if you're going to create with me every day, get one of these, or even once a week, these are just awesome to have, no matter how old you are. I like the 11 by 14. Some people like the smaller size, but this one to me is a great size. So are you ready to get started? I'll show you more what's in the box later. Now, I hope you have something to draw on and a pencil. I'm gonna draw on black marker just so you can see it better. Oh, I unmute for great art tips and a great lesson. <laughs> Does that mean I'm muted? Oh, no, you're not muted, but the people on Amazon are muted, so they need to unmute so they can learn. Oh, okay. Got it. You guys, that's Jim. Jim's here today behind the scenes helping me out. And if you know me and you follow me, you know that I have some technical challenges. And I still do. I'm better than a year ago, but I'm still... Maybe I accidentally dialed 911 on my phone when I was trying to set up today, okay? That's just an example of what can happen. But it all worked out. I, I let them know I was safe. So I'm going to use Sharpie on the canvas. And my format, I have it in landscape or horizontal. So I'm going to use Sharpie, but I want you to use pencil in case you make a mistake. I'm going to start right in the center with my bunny head, okay? I'm going to use a circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't want to trace a circle. It's, it shouldn't be a perfect geometric circle. Just draw a, a natural circle. And then I'm going to do some bunny ears. Okay. Now, I say customize it. If there's five people in your family, maybe you want to do five bunnies. If there's three people in your family, do three bunnies. Or maybe you just want one big giant bunny. It's totally up to you guys. You could do your brothers and sisters and grandparents. Whatever you choose to do is fine. So I've seen one bunny and I've seen five. I'm going to do three. But again, I want you guys to create however many bunnies you want. This is called bunny hugs. So here I'm going to put one arm out like this and back. And the other bunny arm out and back and then I'm going to create the bottom of my bunny and it's going to go right off the bottom okay and I can just draw the little again doesn't have to be perfect that's going to be my little bunny tail 
And so let's put another bunny over here. Now this could be the baby bunny. This could be the brother bunny. This could be the Grammy bunny. Again, whatever you want, you don't have to keep up with me, okay? Take your time. If you make a mistake, you can erase it or you can start over. You can use scrap paper, you can use computer paper, any kind of paper is great. I'm gonna put one more bunny over here. So again, I'm gonna start with the circle. I'm gonna do a bunny ear, another bunny ear. Oh, I forgot this shoulder here. There's his little shoulder. All right, so now I have three bunnies. But again, I want you guys to make however many you want to. And I also want you to use whatever colors you want to. So again, another question I always get asked is, what colors do I need? Well, what colors do you love? So I would recommend, again, if you love what color, green, you can use green. I don't have green on here. You could do a green background. That's the most important thing is you want to have contrast, right? So you want your bunnies to have contrast or really show up against that background. So you could have... A green background if you love green I don't you can have a green bunny if you want to but then choose a different color for your background so it's totally up to you guys and what I'm gonna do again I'm gonna show you guys my favorite products but the um, acrylic paints and they're in the shop you can use acrylic paints you can you can use any kind of acrylics that you like you can use tempera as well acrylic is non-toxic and it's washable while it's wet it takes about 24 hours for it to set. But once it does set, it's permanent. So if you get it on your clothes, you can wash it out within 24 hours. I love acrylic because it's opaque. That means you can't see through it. So if I make a mistake, I can cover it up with acrylic paint. And I would start with a round paintbrush. Let's see, I'll find a round paintbrush. A round paintbrush is any kind of paintbrush that has a point to it. And it doesn't even have to be a perfect point. There's, see that tip? And mine's kind of fuzzy, but it's that's called a brown paintbrush. So I'm going to start I'll start in the center and I'm going to scoop up some white paint because I want it to be a little bit softer. I want it to be a little bit more pastel and to create texture. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. So again, you can use acrylics, which I highly recommend. But if you don't have acrylics, you can use a different kind of paint. Watercolor paint would be a little bit trickier to get this texture. So this is the texture. I'm just tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. And it's giving me a texture kind of like fluffy. And I'm just going to scoop up a little bit more white. Now, you guys, I just squeezed out a little bit out of the little two-ounce bottle onto a plate. You can use scrap paper. You can use an empty, you know, like a plastic dish, like those microwavable dishes that you would throw away. You can rinse them out and reuse it for your paint. Egg cartons. Oh, mm, my God. Look at this. Okay, if we want to be environmentally friendly, you guys, I have an old egg curtain here too. So I always, what's awesome about this is you can close the lid and the paint will stay fresh for a couple days. So that's, again, another great thing to do with your, where you can put your paint. Mine's on a, a styrofoam plate right now. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Thank you for loving the bunny friends. Yay. Bunny sisters, that's right. Susan and her sister create with me. They've been creating with me for the last year. And Susan's so kind, she sends me cards in the mail all the time and make, make me feel really good. Actually, she I don't want to just say me. You, Susan and her sister hand make cards and then they mail them to people. Just for no reason, just to make them feel better. Not, you know, for no other reason. And you guys, look, I'm painting right over my black line. So that's why I love acrylic paint is because it's so opaque, which means you can't see through it. So I can paint right over my Sharpie line and no one knows it's there. Now, again, I would recommend for you to draw in pencil just so you can erase it. And I'm going to keep going. So I'm just, all I keep doing is scooping up more white. And when you're using acrylic paint, you don't want to get it watery. You don't want it to be transparent unless that's the look you're going for, right? You want it to stay pretty thick. So you don't want to add water. If you want to wash off your brush in a cup of water, dry it off with a paper towel. Okay. Here's my other bunny here. So what else I want to tell you guys 
about my favorite products. This is um, probably something I always, always, always have and I use and I get a lot of questions. When I do posts and people are like, what kind of paint is that? Will, will it stick? Do I have to shellac over it? So, and I know you guys are probably like, slow down, slow down. So I'll go, let me just do the pink one and then I'm gonna show you another one of my favorite products. Susan really likes your pl clear plastic egg carton too. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Susan. That's that's a that's the multi pack. That's the Costco pack of eggs. But I'm sure you can get them on Amazon too. I, ha I have to tell you, you guys, there's no eggs in the box. <laughs> I don't know if I'm courageous. I wonder if Amazon delivers eggs. I bet you they do. But boy, that would be that might be a tricky delivery. I actually, you know, they do own Whole Foods, so you can get eggs from Whole Foods delivered to your house. Oh, good. All right. Good to know. Good to know. I'm going to try it. I'm going to test it out. That's probably the only thing I've never purchased on Amazon. So, and you, you guys, I taught art for 20 years. So I used to save egg cartons all the time. The kids would bring in egg cartons. There's so many cool craft projects you could do with an egg carton. Plus you could store, and not just paint to keep it fresh. You could keep beads in there, you know, and like organize it with um, beads or even uh, thumbtacks and nails. Oh, I just love egg cartons. So I used to use them. You could paint and like turn them upside down and paint the other side like chicks and all kinds of stuff. All right, now I got my, my I'm going to leave the bunny tail white for right now. See, and again, if it looks too smooth, tap, 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 give it a little texture. All right, another one of my favorite products. So when I make a post and it's of like a flower pot or a glass or something, people are like, what kind of paint is that? So, all right, this is not bunnies. This is birds on a flower pot, just as an example, or a glass, which I actually do this a lot. Um, these are wine glass paintings. So this, you guys, is multi-surface paint. Love this. I always have this. So the regular acrylic paint that I'm using for my bunny, I could not use that on a glass because it would come off, okay? If I used it on a flower pot, it could come off. So the multi-surface, you can use, look, I, I just did this one just to show you guys. So this is a glass plate, and I use the multi-surface on it. So the multi-surface takes two weeks to set. So as long as I don't wash this for two weeks, after I paint it, it's permanent, okay? And I, this is like a nice plate. You could put like cookies and Easter candy or whatever you want to and give it to someone as like a housewarming gift. But this, again, multi-surface paint is the question when people ask me, do you have to schlack it? No. Once it's on there, let it dry for two weeks. It'll be dry in a day, but you have to let it set for two weeks and then you're good to go. So this, again, the wine glass, same thing, multi-service paint. This is the easiest thing. I do this so many at so many parties and you guys, um, you just use the eraser of a pencil and you put a little squirt of the multi-service. I'll show you. Okay. So you guys know I have my plate on my paint. I mean, my paint on the plate, look. So I scoop it up on my pencil, and then you just dot it. Dot, dot, dot. You could even do the bottom of it. Dot, right? But it's multi-surface, so it's not coming off, again, after two weeks. So you can drink, and you can eat on your plate, and it's there. So that's why I love that product, and I use it all the time. All right, let's go back to bunny. Bunny hugs, bunny hugs. Okie dokie. So the next one, I'll just do the, the lavender next. So all I did was take a little bit of the purple and I mixed some white in it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Okay. Can you see? Tap, 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 tap. Now, wash off your brush and dry it off, right? So wash off your, before you guys do this, or get a new brush. And just put your brush in a cup of water. If you leave the acrylic paint on your brush, and it doesn't happen right away, but within the hour, it's going to get really hard and ruin your brush. So you can leave it in the water or rinse it out and set it on a paper towel. And yours does not have to be lavender.
It could be any color you want, whatever color you, you can make, you can make brown bunnies, right? They could be realistic. You could make it light brown. And it doesn't have to have texture. I just think the texture makes it more interesting. Tap, 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 tap. I think the best present, while well, I'm an artist and I love it, to get somebody, you putting together a basket of art supplies as a gift is, is a gift. I would love to get that. So again, you could put favorite art supplies. I'm going to show you guys in a minute too, some, another one. Let me finish the lavender or the purple. So it's lavender because I'm just putting a little bit of white in my purple. But yours can be bold and bright. It does not have to be pastel. Denise, Susan's asking, uh, where can they get the, the, the plate to paint on? <laughs> and also, uh, where can she get the multi-surface paint? Now, that's actually over on Amazon, right? In the carousel for the paint? Yes. In the am. All right, you guys, I didn't put the plate. So, sorry, Susan. And I'm, I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even hold it up because I'm embarrassed, but this, <laughs> these are the only plates I had left. Look, okay, you guys, whatever. <laughs> so this is what I had. All right. So this is, that's why I didn't hold it up because I'm a little embarrassed, but whatever, this is real life. So this was, I only had a few styrofoam plates left and this is the one I'm painting on today. So you see it has a big crack in it, but it's working and I didn't want to waste it. So, so that, but you guys, it's just a styrofoam pack. We can add it to the carousel. I'm sure it's, very inexpensive on Amazon. I just, um, I like to reuse them. So once it dries, it's almost like plastic and I just kind of layer it and use it over and over and over again. So that's really, again, you can get it on Amazon styrofoam plates, or you can get it wherever you want to. And then the folk art multi-service paint is definitely in the cart. Not everyone in the stores carry it. Again, acrylic paint is much more common, but Regular acrylic paint, you guys, will not stick to a various surfaces. Multi-surface will. Glass, plastic, terracotta. Um, I have painted on just about everything with the multi-surface. And again, be patient and let it dry. And it's really amazing stuff. So I have people that actually do house parties every year. And they have me back every year and they do more glasses. So they have like a series of these glasses. It's really nice. And their glasses still look great. You can't tell the difference between the new ones and the ones that they made a few years ago. So the paint is amazing. I highly recommend the multi-surface. And the thing is, if I wanted to use multi-surface on the canvas, I could, okay? So I can use it on anything versus just plain acrylic paint, which I love, but that is made for either the sketchbook or paper or regular canvas, not for various materials. Does that make sense? All right, let me show you guys. Um, what else do I want to show you? All right. Now, like Susan's seen me in these before, you guys. So I wanted to wear my hat today, but I wanted to wear these too because they're cute, okay? And it comes with a bow tie. <laughs> so, normally, you guys, I'm wearing a beret, and I try to match my outfit with my beret. I have like a multi-pack of berets. They're all different colors. And everyone asks me that too. Where'd you get your beret? So my berets are right from Amazon, and I get the, the biggest pack, and I believe there's 12 in the pack. And they come in like a rainbow of colors. And when I do a, a local house party, and I've done for the last year lots of virtual ones, whether it's kids or adults, they order the hats for all of their guests. So when I show up, everybody has like um like a favor you know they have a beret so they all put their berets on and, and if I'm at a kids party all the kids have a beret even this last year with so many virtual parties the kids of the the mom who's hosting it or whatever sends the kids the beret with their supplies so it's really cute and fun but I just thought I'd put the and this comes with a tail too so it comes with the sequins bow tie and the ears and a little tail which I just think is adorable all right 
So I feel like my pink needs a little bit more pink. So I'm just going to, I'm going to dot on a little bit more pink here. And you guys feel free to ask me any other questions, whatever you want. I'm here today. I want to know what you guys want. I only know what to talk about because you guys are asking me. You asked me, again, the multi-service paint, The when I used um, a variety of products, that's probably like the most popular question is what kind of paint is that? Do I have to seal it? So again, this you don't have to seal. Now acrylic paint, remember I said it'll be waterproof and in, in about, I put a little red in there. I felt like it got a, it needed a little something. So I just mixed a little red in there. It's an experiment, you guys. That's what makes it so fun. Let Don't worry about it. Just let it go and practice. And you know what? If you don't like it, let it dry and you can paint right over it. You just got to be patient and let it dry. You know, it looks, I, I, don't, know, I don't know if I like it better or not, but at least I tried. If I let it dry, I can come back into it later. So Suzanne had a question. Once the multi-surface paint is set after two weeks without washing it, can you just start using it or how do you wash it after you use it? Well, let me just say, I have not washed it after. I just, <laughs> actually, I, I should, I could tell you guys that you can even start, if it, let's just pretend it's a water glass. Um, you can start using it today. Just don't wash it. So you, the inside of it is fine and don't, paint the inside, but let's just pretend you're going to use a glass. Also, I would not recommend painting up higher than a half inch because where you're drinking on, you don't want to be drinking on top of the paint, but you can use these. You just can't wash them. Okay. So what, so I have done that where, again, especially if you're giving it to someone as a gift, just tell them not to wash it if you just made it. But um, it's really the water on the paint. You just don't want it to come off, but hand wash it with like your dish soap and, um, Anything that's hand painted, you guys, including clothing or anything else, you should hand wash just for it to last longer, okay? My friends tell me all the time they put this on the top shelf of the dishwasher and it's fine. I'm just recommending you hand wash anything hand painted. And, you know, again, it's not going to come off and don't paint too close to the top. That's it, right? I'm glad you're asking me all these questions. I love it. Yeah, Suzanne really liked uh, how you showing the tapping makes such a great texture look. All right. Well, you want to see the orange one or should I show you what else is in the box? Let me show you. Um, all right, you guys, this is silly. I got a silly. This is who inspired me. Actually, I was, I've been an artist since a little kid and I went to art school and stuff, but do you guys know who this is? Bob Ross. Look at my little Bob Ross bobblehead, right? Okay. And he talks too. Anything you don't like, you turn into a happy little tree, right? Happy accidents. I have them all the time, you guys, all the time. Even though I paint every day, I have happy accidents all the time. And what do I do? I paint over it, right? I paint over it. I do it again. But that's what makes it fun. You just have to let, you know, let go of your expectations. Give it a try. Don't worry about it being perfect. Now I'm going to use orange, but again, you guys can use any color you want. I scooped up some white. I scooped up some orange. I'm not even mixing it on my plate. I'm just mixing it right on the canvas. Scoop, tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. If you don't like orange, don't use orange. Now, and I, when I'm done with the orange, I'm going to show you one of my other favorite products, which is tempera paint. So as a teacher in the classroom for elementary school, I used tempera paint. I did not use acrylics. Fifth graders, once in a while, we did a special project. We used acrylic paint. Tempera paint is also non-toxic, but it's washable. So most of the products that you see, whether it be Crayola or, you know, for kids, they're tempera paints or watercolor paints. So tempera, is more opaque than watercolor. Watercolor is very transparent. But tempera is not permanent. It washes out. So parents love it. Teachers love it too. Teachers love it so the parents don't get mad. So, but I'm still using acrylic. 
before I show you something else I love. Tap, 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 tap. So you don't have to be tapping. You want your smooth. You Look, you can paint your smooth, but I like that textured look. Here, let's give it a try. Here's smooth. And here's textured. Texture. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, you got to name your bunnies. You got to think of good names. You guys always help me. What's a good name? Give me some good names for our bunnies. Actually, I have two sisters. This could be me and my two sisters, right? And I went, look at this. I went out of the line here. Not on purpose, but doesn't that look like the profile of the bunny right there? See, that's a happy little accident. So now it kind of looks like this bunny is looking at that bunny. I did not mean to do that. No one knows your mistakes. You don't have to tell anybody you made a mistake. I'm only telling you because we're friends, right? No one knows your mistakes, you guys. I, I promise you. You turn them into a happy little accident. And yours is going to look like yours. Not It's not going to look like mine. So I always think of art like, uh, think about your handwriting and how different your handwriting is than everybody else's handwriting, right? So art is the same way. You're going to have your, even if you never painted before, even if you never created art before, you're going to have a style. So when you learn the ABCs and the one, two, threes, and you copied your teacher's letters, yours, you could tell they were the ABCs but they look like yours in your handwriting. So how you hold a paintbrush, the pressure you use, and the stroke that you use creates a style. Like Van Gogh, who used thick paint. All right, I, I, I'm gonna show Van Gogh just because he's cute. Look, I have a Van Gogh doll too. But Van Gogh is bigger than Bob. Van Gogh's head doesn't bobble, Bob's does. So those are my, my fun little game. Oh, that was what was in the box. <laughs> so um, Van Gogh had like that thick wine. You guys know I love Van Gogh, so that's why I'm bringing him up. All right, let's see. What else is in the box? Uh, let's see what else is in the box. First of all, you got to think outside the box, right? We're being creative today, so think outside the box. I showed you guys my favorite paintbrushes. Now, if you guys don't have cotton balls, it's not a big deal, but if you want to add cotton balls to your artwork, you can totally do that. So it doesn't matter what size your cotton balls are. I already did this. Where did I put it? Here it is. Look, I made another one. And there's, look at the little bunny tails. You see that? So what I did was I just pulled them apart. I just pulled it and made it fluffier to fit my little tail. So if you want to add a real cotton ball, you can. And something else I want to show you guys, and I, do you see there's glitter on there? Can you see the glitter? Oh, yeah. I can definitely see the glitter. Okay. So that, again, I always had in my art room. Sometimes I had to, you know, tell the kids if they... If they did a really good job cleaning up, they would get glitter. Kids love glitter. But this is the glitter that moms love too because it's not loose. And that there's nothing worse than loose glitter, especially if you get it in your eye, right? So this is Mod Podge. It's non-toxic and it has it comes in all different styles and stuff. This is um, what I mean by style. It comes matte, which is no shine. It comes shiny with no glitter. So there, today there's like 10 different kinds. This is my favorite. This is the one with the glitter built into it. Okay. And you can, it goes on. It almost looks like here. I'll show you. See that it looks like glue and it is glue. So what I did was I covered my canvas with it to give it a thin coat of glitter. And then I put the cotton on top of it and the cotton will stick to it. Cause this is glue. So it's glitter glue. Again, love it. It has a funny smell, but it's non toxic. It just, it doesn't smell like nail polish, but it's got that weird kind of glue smell. So uh, love it. Always have that. I have like 10 bottles here. So you want to blink? Here's another bottle, right? You want to blink something up? This is what's going to do it. Now, don't use this on multi surface because it'll, like, if you put this on the on the wine glass, it'll come off. So this is not a multi-surface product, but this is great on paper, on canvas. It's very cool. The kids like painting their fingernails with it. Don't do that. I mean, it just peels off like glue, but um, it's a great product. All right, so remember we talked about our background. We wanna have contrast. So what color should I do my background? Do you guys want me to do it the same color or do you want me to do it a different color? 
I know we talked about maybe green, if you love green. I do like the sky blue color. The white looks pretty good too, right? You can always add words. You could have bunny hugs. You could have um, happy hugs, happy days, <laughs> whatever you want. Again, this could be a great uh, card for someone. So I, do I have my blue paint poured? I never even poured my blue paint. I was going to let you guys pick what color background. Black, but then it, black is such a contrast, like almost too much of a contrast. So, oh, I have a, you know what? And I, it's my multi-surface paint. So again, multi-surface works on the canvas as well. But this is a cool, this is like a teal. So how about if I use that? This is called... Oh, look at this, you guys. It says dishwasher safe. Okay, Susan, there you go. Dishwasher safe. I still say hand wash it, but if you guys want to use it in the dishwasher, fine. I didn't even know it said that. Is that from the Apple Barrel set? This is the Folk Art. Folk Art. This is Folk Art multi-surface paint. It comes in a set. Okay. And again, the multi-surface you can use on any. Oh, and this is Aqua. I'm going to try Aqua this time. So it should say folk art. I like the one that has like 10 different colors. All right, don't get my numbers right. I'm not positive it's 10, but the one that comes with a lot of colors because that aqua would like your basics, primary color, red, blue, yellow, white, and black. You're not going to get a cool aqua color in that. Okay. So I just like the fun colors. You could always make the aqua. Let's see what it looks like. That's right. So aqua would be blue, which is one of your primary colors and green or you can add a little bit of yellow to your blue. But you guys see this, so now it's, I consider that flat, like painting a wall, right? It doesn't have the texture that the bunnies do. So I'm, I just want you to see, and I've used the same paintbrush, the brown paintbrush. So the other brushes, like in that multi-pack, if it has a square tip like that, yes, it goes away. The smell of the glitter glue goes away. Yes, it does. It's just like you open the bottle and you get a smell, but. It's supposed to smell like that. Yeah, Susan, I love it. Thank you, Susan. Um, and you guys, this is called a flat paintbrush. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Susan, you do. You guys, Susan's always, again, sending me cards, writing me the most beautiful messages. You make the world a better place. So, all right. You guys like that blue? Or do you want me to add? See, I think it looks better with that texture in it. So this is what I consider flat. To me, it's a little boring, right? It looks like an iPad. Well, and I love when people create an iPad, but this is paint. We want to have texture. And I encourage you guys, if you, uh, so many of the people today are making their art on the iPad. So they follow along, but they're doing it digitally. I don't even know how to do that. Okay. But it's really cool. I think kids today can do everything. I mean, it's, they are resilient. Now, if you want, because it's going to take me a longer time to do the whole background this, with a small brush. Again, I'm not going to give you the size of the brush. Just depends on what size you're working on. Just find a bigger brush if you want, because, this, again, this is going to take me a little bit longer. Once you got somewhere to go. Tap, 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 tap. See that texture? Doesn't that look better? It makes it more interesting. And again, I don't think you could get that from an iPad or, you know, like when you print something out from the computer as well, like a printout or a poster, we're making a painting. So it should have texture. You want to see the brush strokes. Makes it more interesting. And also, I know people always want to know what age things are for. And because I taught art, for 20 plus years to all ages and abilities to every different level. And I've had my own business now for six years. And I, um, I do all ages and I don't want to say, Oh, this is just for, you know, people my age. I don't want to say this is just for little children. I want to say it's for everybody. You adapt accordingly, you know, and be inclusive. That means we're including everybody. 
And I, again, I like to teach so that everybody can participate. Susan really likes how you uh, make that texture by using a little bit of white. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Susan. Oh, I forgot the spot down here. And that's why I also encourage you to use whatever supplies you like. So you don't, and that's what I want to show you next. What's in the box? Another one of my favorite art supplies. Oh my gosh, I keep talking about it. I haven't showed you. All right, isn't this turquoise? What did I call aqua? So pretty. All right, I'm coming back to you. You guys, really, this, they did not have this when I was a kid. So these are, I was talking about temper paint. These are tempera paint solid sticks. They, this is just amazing. I wish they had these when I was an art teacher. And the colors are fantastic. Oh my gosh, I think I have 30. Yep, 30 colors. There's 30 different colors. So I can use a variety. I want to show you real quick. So tempera is washable, right? It's not like acrylic. They do make these in acrylic as well, but I would stick to tempera for the solid sticks. And they're really creamy. And they dry within two minutes. Now, where's my board? To, I had a, oh yeah, I covered it. I was all set up to do it, you know, be snazzy and do a multi-screen. But So here's my other bunny hugs. And I want to just demonstrate. And this, again, it comes with like these amazing colors. So it, the lid comes off, right? And you turn it. Okay. And then... You color, oops, I just, look at that. Look at how fun and bright that is, right? Very creamy. Now, you're not going to get that texture. You're not going to be able to mix white and dab and get that texture that we can with liquid paint. So this is solid. So if you're looking for something to color in with no mess, right? No mess, you guys. And washable and easy to use, that would be these temper sticks. The colors are amazing. They're super fun. And I love them. Can you guys hear it? There goes my Amazon truck. You hear it? <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> Could you guys hear the truck go by? Yeah. <laughs> Half the fun is remembering what you ordered and seeing what's out there. It's like Christmas every day. Oh my gosh, one day I should I should do a video by the front door and, and get the Amazon guy on there. Ask him if he could be on camera with me. That would be funny. So, so far I've just used, again, one color. This is super pretty, non-toxic. It's called neon. Oh, of course I picked the neon. So look, I can create my own texture just by leaving the little white part showing through. That gives the illusion of bunny hair, but you can't, again, really mix. I was playing with these last night. It's a little bit more challenging to mix color, but there's, you know, 30 different color. So you should be able to find a color that you like. The other thing is it's very thick and chunky. Yes. So here, you know what? I'll, let me find a, a color close to this one. So yes, you can use this on the canvas pads, on regular canvas. This is, the, is kind of close. Look at that color. You see that? So that's kind of close. This one's called Classic. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's darker. But it's pretty close. Look at that. Look at that. See that nice? So that is, and it, it's it's wet, you guys. See it? It's wet. So I can kind of smudge it a little bit, but it take, in two minutes it's dry. Let's experiment. Let's try mixing it in with the acrylic. Ooh, look at that. So look at that. That looks kind of cool. All right, I don't mind using it. <laughs> I get messy, you guys. If you don't know, I'm messy, messy, messy. That's why I wear an apron.
Yeah, look at that. Ooh, but you can just use it alone. And yes, it works on really, again, this is not a product you're going to use on glass or a plate or a multi-surface. This is not a multi-surface product. This is for paper, computer paper. This is for canvas. This is for a canvas pad. Oh, I like that color. Okay. And it wipes, see, I got paint on it, but it wipes right off. See that? I don't want to waste it. All right, so now I'm gonna let's again we're just experimenting here. Mixed media. Mixed media. We're literally mixing media. <laughs> this is an experiment. That's why I like it. This is like a science experiment. All right, I'm gonna put a little white in there. I'm just gonna blend it and see what happens. So look, it does not mix with the acrylic paint once I use my finger and smudge it in there. You guys can, you can, when I did the kids' handprints, you could use acrylic paint for handprints. You can use acrylic paint for, you know, again, it's non toxic, it's washable while it's wet. And again, it comes off your hair, your skin, your nails. Otherwise, I would be a mess. But um, if you get it on your carpet or, you know, anything, make sure you wash it out within 24 hours. I have a bad habit of dropping my paintbrush, a wet, Goopy paintbrush on the carpet. You could put something down underneath it, but it's washable again. Just don't leave it there sitting too long. I just wanted to, to blend it in, but yes, it covers really nicely and it's very opaque. So it's not see through, right? It's cool. And I'm really liking this color. Go ahead, Jim. Do you want to say something? Oh, no, you're doing great. This is uh, fun. Oh, oh, good. We know Jim's behind the scenes making a bunny too. <laughs> uh, I, did, I did share it out to my, to my friends that have kids so they can check it out. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. Well, so I started this a year ago virtually and I've had kids and grandparents and adults with no kids just because they found it so relaxing and that's why I said, if you can just let go of wanting something to be perfect, like I just got a blob of orange in there, shh, don't tell anybody. But you you can't even tell. And you wouldn't have known if I didn't tell you. But it's really more about the process than the product. But we love a good product, right? <laughs> but it's more about the process, about relaxing, letting go of, you know, being perfect, and just creating. That's really what it's about. And that's why I love it so much and the freedom to do what you want, when you want. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. You guys, this is gonna be recorded. You can, we're live now, and if you're joining us recorded, welcome. You gotta try it live one time. Live is, or 10 times. Live is fun, and. You gotta look at this, what a nice thing Suzanne just said to you. You've changed so many lives for your virtual art classes, Denise. Thank you, Susan. She's, I'm going to, I'm not going to cry. She has seen me cry on camera. Sometimes she says stuff and I just burst into tears. <laughs> thank you. So you're so kind. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I, um, when COVID hit, because I had about 2000 followers, mostly moms and grandmothers who paint with me in person and you know, they were really concerned with their kids being at home, no school, stay at home order. And I offered virtually to do art classes. I had never done them before. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you know what, you guys, we're all in this together. Let's just give it a shot. So March six, Monday, March 16, 2020, I did my first virtual art class. It was amazing. People from around the world were watching. I, I had no idea I would get the response that I did. Oops, I just got pink in there. I need to pay more attention because I'm talking. But it was amazing. And so um, the mothers loved it. The kids loved it. And I, I kept saying, oh, I'm just going to do this until you go back to school. Well, that didn't happen, right? So I kept the, you know, who knew here we would be in a year later, you guys. And I actually did the classes through Memorial Day, through May. So March, April, May, we did uh, the art classes and 
it was so fun. And now we have this little art community. You guys can check it out. And uh, so we not all know each other virtually. And look at my bow ties around my neck. Oh, you guys, just so you know, it doesn't really choke you. And it's on elastic. So it even fits by my big neck, right? Look at this. It's elastic. I love this. And it fits little kids. And it comes with a bunny tail, too. So a little bunny tail. You got the bunny ears. And the kids were the ones who got me on this. I have to tell you guys, all right. So the other thing, all of a sudden, um, I did like a, I can't even remember what the first animal I did. And the kids were dressed like the animal. And then all of a sudden, I started getting packages in the mail from Amazon of a panda bear set and a ladybug set. And um, so they were sending me things so I could wear them on camera. It was so cute. So that's actually how this all got started was you know, their idea. And look, I forgot to do the other turquoise. So let me finish that because I'm talking so much. I forgot. So look at this section over here. Right? Oh, I got to show you what's in the box. All right. I'm going to show you what else is in the box. And then I'm going to go back and show you how to detail your artwork. And remember, I mean, that's the thing. When I started this, I didn't have a bunch of different art supplies. I didn't have, you know, I had never done this before, but I did have an Amazon box. So if you guys go back to watch my the first episodes, I always said, yeah. Um, I remember this, Susan? Think outside the box. I took my Amazon box, and every day I held up my Amazon box with think outside the box. So what else is in the box? Well... So again, I think, you know, reading is really important and I always like to incorporate, you know, some type of literacy into an art project. And this just happens to be a cute little bunny book and it's really short. So I thought I would read it to you guys. Here comes Peter Cottontail. I'm going to try to read it like this, but sometimes my eyes get a little, you know, when you're reading sideways. It was the day before Easter in April Valley. Colonel Wellington Bee Bunny was deciding who should replace him as chief Easter Bunny. It was a very difficult decision because it was a very important job. The chief, e uh, excuse me, the chief Easter Bunny was in charge of carving chocolates, sewing bonnets, and of course, decorating and delivering Easter eggs. After much careful thought, the colonel made his decision. He chose a young bunny named Peter Cottontail. Meanwhile, a terrible, wicked, nasty rabbit named Iron Tail had other ideas. According to the Constitution of April Valley, Iron Tail announced, the chief Easter bunny shall be the one who delivers the most eggs. Look at those illustrations. So illustrations, an illustrator is the person that does the artwork. So usually you have a writer and you have an illustrator. Iron Tail challenged Peter to an egg delivering contest that would take place the very next day. I'm not afraid of Iron Tail, Peter told the Colonel confidently. Peter Cottontail was so sure he was going to win, he threw a big victory party. He stayed up very late. Before he went to bed, Peter told his rooster, Alarm clock to wake him bright and early. Iron Tail snuck into Peter's house and fed magic bubble gum to the rooster. The next morning, the rooster couldn't cock a doodle do. Peter slept on and on and on all through Easter Day. Now, Chris over on Amazon said this was his favorite book as a kid. Oh, Chris, do you still have it? You know, it doesn't matter how old you are. Like, just even looking at it makes me smile, right? So it doesn't matter if you're 5 or 55. It's a good book to have on the shelf. No one wanted an egg from such a nasty bunny, so Iron Tail was only able to give one away. But since Peter didn't deliver any eggs at all, Iron Tail won the contest. Peter Cottontail knew he had let everybody down. He left April Valley, promising to make it up to them somehow. After walking for days and days, Peter stumbled upon the Yester Morrow Mobile. It could transport anyone into yesterday or tomorrow. 
Antony, the pilot, agreed to take Peter back to Easter so he could deliver his Easter eggs and win the contest. See those pretty pastel colors? But not everyone went as planned. Oh, sorry. Not, but not everything went as planned. Iron Tail discovered what Peter was up to and sent his spider to fiddle with the wires in the Yestermorrow mobile. Instead of traveling back in time to Easter, Antony and Peter flew into a Fourth of July celebration. No one's going to want Easter eggs on the Fourth of July, Peter said sadly. Easter eggs, no, but 4th of July eggs, maybe, suggested Antony. You just have to improvise. Dressed as the Independence Day bunny, Peter tried giving out red, white, and blue eggs, but no one wanted them. I'll have one. I would like a red, white, and blue Easter egg. Next, Peter and Tony flew into Halloween, but no one wanted Peter's orange and black eggs either. Peter then went to Christmas, but Iron Tail was up to his old tricks again. He stole Peter's eggs. Luckily, with the help of Santa Claus, Peter got his eggs back. The next stop was Valentine's Day. Oh, that's my birthday. <laughs> Peter painted Valentine eggs. Surely some would want them. I'll have some. I think you can have Easter eggs any day. At a Valentine's Day party, Peter gave a bunny named Donna a red egg and she loved it. Peter asked Donna to skate with him. Ooh. Donna put down her egg and they skated away. Now, if I was teaching the kids, they'd go, ew, ew, right? Depends on how old they are. When Peter wasn't looking, Iron Tail found the eggs and put an evil spell on them. The wicked bunny turned them green inside and out. Donna didn't want a green egg. Luckily, Peter made a crash landing in St. Patrick's Day. Everywhere Peter looked, he saw green. Peter's green shamrock egg soon became the hit of St. Patrick's Day parade. He gave them all away and finally won the contest. Back in April Valley, Colonel Bunny congratulated Peter. You have shown great ing oh my god, what's that word? Ingenuity. <laughs> oh, I gotta go back to school, you guys. <laughs> Therefore, you have won the right to be the official chief Easter bunny, he said. Everyone cheered for Peter Cottontail. All right, so you know, again, everyone makes mistakes. I have to tell you guys, we did Moana this week. We, we did the Disney movie artwork because a lot of the kids wanted to do it. And I kept calling her Mona. And the kids were like, her name's not Mona, it's Moana. <laughs> so, and then I read the book. You want to talk about a challenging book to read. It was very, um, the names were very interesting and the islands were even more interesting. So anyway, you just got to go with the flow. We all make mistakes and you keep going, right? You keep moving on. So Let's talk about the rest of this artwork, okay? Now, you can see that the arm on this bunny kind of blends in, right? You don't really see the difference between the back of the bunny and the arm. And same thing on this one. So what I could do is I can go back into it. Now, if you have a little bit of a smaller brush, again, I would use a round tip brush, and you can get that in the multi-pack. Or you can use the same brush. If you just have one brush, that's fine too. But I want to just... Add less white and so make it a little bit more like I'll do it over here so that I can bring back and almost like outlining it, but I don't want the line to be too harsh, but I want to define it. So this would be like a detail. I want to soften it up a little bit more so I don't want it to be quite that harsh. And something else I wanted to tell you guys is that. You know what you go through the most of in paint is white. So you always want to have extra white too. You can always buy it separate, but if you get like the whole kit, you're going to notice, especially like this, when we were doing pastels, you're going to add more white to make the color softer. So you're always going to go through more white. And you know what else? 
if you have old house paint, like latex paint, it's just like acrylic. So just, um, again, if you get it on the carpet or something, make sure you wash it right away. But it mixes great if you have like an old can of white latex. You can mix it with your acrylics. It works great. So do you see how that just kind of redefined it? Maybe I do that around the neck too. So you could do little dab, 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 tap, 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 tap. Or you can do the line, but I think the line to me looks a little too harsh. I like the tap, 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 tap texture. And I can even make, you know, just kind of blend it down here a little bit. I can put a little bit on the ear here. You know what else would be cute is if you did another one. Let's say you do one canvas from the back. You could do another canvas from the front. That would be cute. So you could have the front of them and the back of them. Another thing is if you're doing it with your family members, you can add all, all of them together at the end. Like you could hang them on the wall together. So you could make them connect. That would be another option and it would look really cute. Yeah, that definitely would sound like fun. Let me think about, oh, yeah, you know what I forgot? To, I got another product I want to show. What's in the box? I got another, I got something else in the box. Let me, let me keep adding more details and I'll show you guys. But do you see what I mean here? Yep. With the dark, the dark adds a little pop to it. Okay. Now this product, I also, you guys, I love our supplies. So whenever I go shopping, I go, you know, like kids in a candy aisle, I go to the art aisle. Now, haven't done that in a year, so I am, of course, all over Amazon. I am amazed at the art supplies that I can find on Amazon. I can find stuff that I can't find locally, which I love, and I don't have to go anywhere. And then my nice Amazon guy comes and leaves it at my door. So my the last year, I've done nothing but buy cool stuff. And I just got this, again, we'll take it. What's in the box? Think outside the box. All right, this is the other one. Again, so here's what I want to, I want to compare this. These are oil pastels. They call them crepas. I love this brand. Okay. So this is Expressionist Crepas. There are 25 colors. I love color. So look at those beautiful colors. Now the difference is, so these also are opaque and very creamy. Okay. They're smaller than the temper sticks. So I want to show you, look at the, the thickness of this. So it depends on your fine motor skill. And again, you know, this is good just depending on if you have arthritis or um, if you have a little kid. So it just really depends on your fine motor skills. I love using these. The difference is when you're trying to do detail, so small areas, it becomes challenging because the tip of it is wide. Again, it's great. I showed you guys before my bunny. So you see there's no thin tip. So these are awesome. There's not a skinny part to it or a thin part to it. So you can combine it with the oil pastels, or again, I wanna show you how oil pastels color in comparison to the temper sticks. So let's go back to my little baby bunny. All right, let's try, let's try lavender. All right, I'm gonna see if there's a name on this. Yeah, guess what, it's called purple. <laughs> Ooh, so creative. So, all right, I'm gonna show you guys. It's opaque, which means it's not see-through. It's very creamy, but look, I can actually outline it. See that? So I can work smaller. It's thinner. So I do love these oil pastels. And you can combine them and use them together. 
The only other thing also that happens with oil pastels is that you get little pieces of crumbs. So make sure that when you're done, and of course you wouldn't be coloring in the air, you would be flat. You go shake it in the garbage can. So when I was teaching art, I would always have the kids walk over to the garbage can and shake all the pieces. Or we used to cover the table back in the day with newspaper. I don't think newspaper is around that much anymore, but we used to have the newspaper delivered to our school. So we always had newspaper and we would cover the tables. So again, this product does have little crumbs, but the colors are beautiful and it gives you a little bit more, let's say access to details because it's smaller. You can also blend colors. So the temper sticks, you cannot blend colors but it's still beautiful. These you can, I'm gonna show you, I'll mix. Although I was able to blend it on the canvas. Let's try, let's try blue. I'll put a little blue in my bunny. And I can even mix it with my finger. Now some people, you guys, I don't mind getting messy, but some people use, if you get a little Kleenex, I put a little Kleenex on your finger. That could be your smudging stick and you can smear it together. So as you see, you can smear the colors together. You can color back over it if you don't like it. Just don't be afraid to try. See, I can color over it. I didn't like that way that look. Don't cry, it's not gonna solve anything. Color over it, right? Experiment. So that's a cool purple, blue. And then again, it comes in all these awesome colors awesome product and they come in you don't have to get such a big box but again i like i like getting the big box with all the different colors so these are oil pastels another word for oil pastels are called crepas and it comes in all those different colors they also i can't remember if that's in my cart i have them around here somewhere Oh, uh, look, Crayola also makes some thick, chunky ones, um, and they're, those are better for littler kids because they help them grip. I have the box around here somewhere. But this I love so much. This is Oh, and these work great on colored construction paper, too. Oop, let me see. Hold on. Okay, I'm glad you guys can only see this much because if you could see my floor, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah. Look, all I had to do was bend down and get a piece of construction paper. So... I'm going to try one more. I want you guys to see how opaque that means. That is, which means um, it, it's covering. Let's try it. Let's try purple on pink. So I guess today is neon pink day. But here, all right, it's not a perfect piece of paper, but it was on my floor. So look, I'll show you oil pastels and how they work on colored paper. Isn't that cool? So pretty. So again, you can just draw right on colored construction paper with your oil pastels. Temper sticks do the same thing. Again, you're just gonna get a little bit more control with the oil pastel. So let's see, oil pastels, temper sticks, acrylic paint, multi-surface paint, Mod Podge, paint brushes, styrofoam plate. <laughs> let's see, what else do I have to talk? Oh, Peter Cottontail. Don't forget about Peter Cottontail, again, just, just because it, add, it puts you in the mood. And let's see what else I wanna tell you. I know I have more stuff to tell you guys. Oh, let's go back to with the dark color. So like right here, you see that? You see, I don't like that splotch right there. I probably got distracted and stopped. Same thing with here. So I'm gonna go back and blend it in a little bit more. But don't, don't let something like that get to you because that is what's awesome about this product, the acrylic paint, is that I could just go back into it and it dries really quick, you guys. So this paint is dry. Now, if you're painting really thick like Van Gogh, it's going to take longer. And it depends on the, like how dry the air is. So if it's really humid out, it's going to take longer unless you're in air conditioning. So the more humid it is, the longer it's going to take. The drier the air is, the quicker it's going to take. So I have done outdoor festivals, and it's been really hot and humid, and the paint doesn't dry. It takes hours, so the people just leave their paintings on the grass and then come back for them later. 
See, look at, I just fixed that harsh line that I didn't like. And maybe it's a little darker on this side. See, I added, so I'm, I'm trying to make it a little bit darker on this side so that the light source would be coming from over here. So it's kind of like a shadow, but you don't have to make yours like that. It just gives it a little bit of depth that makes it look a little more dimensional. So right now you can see my pink one, it has a little bit of depth and the purple one, but the orange one I think needs a little bit more. Again, every time you wash off your brush, you guys, I want you to dry it off on a paper towel. We could have paper towels too. <laughs> Sorry, I should tell you guys. Any kind of paper towel will do. An Amazon paper towel is what I want you to get. <laughs> and some Amazon eggs from Whole Foods. All right, so. See, I'm just, I added less white to that. You guys, when you add white to a color, it's called a tint, T-I-N-T. -T. So it's value. Value is the lights and darks of something. Now I haven't added any black to this. So there's no shading other than with the pure color and some white, a tint. I'm making a tint. Like if you go to the paint store and have them make paint for you, you're usually getting a tint of color. They, and then they, they put mostly white and then they add a little bit of, a, of another color, depending on what you're getting. And then I'm going to do, I'll show you a couple ways to do the tail. Okay. That looks a little better, right? Maybe back here should be a little bit darker. Right back here. Thank you. Thanks, Susan. I love the flexibility of the supplies, too. It's, it's, it's really, again, one of my favorite things that are art supplies. When I was in college, we used oil paint. I went to art, I went to the Cleveland Institute of Art and we used oil paint, which I absolutely love oil paint, except it, um, and there's my bow tie crooked again. You guys, if I had a collared shirt on, it wouldn't twist, but I wanted to wear the pink to match the painting today. So, um, but oil paint, you need like turpentine and really good ventilation. And so I stay away from oil paint, but oil paint has like beautiful depth and shine. And uh, it's very, very nice, but it's permanent. It doesn't come off of anything. And uh, I'm not recommending it. I'd love to paint in oils all the time, but I would, I'm, I don't, and I don't recommend it to anybody. And again, the fumes are really pretty hard and uh, it doesn't wash out of anything. Stay away from oil paint. You can use oil pastels though. Susan's got an interesting comment here. Uh, she says styrofoam plates you're using would be great to use after the class to cut in different shapes and sizes to create a mosaic, we need to get some of those plates and use with paint. They use paper plates. And you know, the only reason, Susan, that I don't recommend paper plates is I always use styrofoam plates because the paper plates absorb, absorb the moisture. So if you put a squirt of acrylic on a paper plate, um, yes, and oil paints take forever to dry too. But if you squirted some acrylic on the plate, the paper plate, it soaks up all the moisture. So your paint loses the um, fluidness of it and it dries quicker because so, all that liquid is absorbing into the paper. The styrofoam doesn't absorb, right? It's styrofoam. So all my paint is still as liquidy right now as it was an hour ago. But if I used a paper plate, it would be drier and I'd have to keep 
adding more paint to it. So yes, I would highly recommend using a styrofoam plate and you don't have to just use it once. Again, once that acrylic paint is dry, you can just keep adding it on top and, and reusing the plate. So that's what I would, like this plate I'm gonna use 10 times. The kids would love to like peel the paint off of it. When acrylic paint is dry, if it's thick, it's like plastic. So, you know, it is pretty cool. Good question though, thank you. There's just certain things I forget to talk about because uh, I just have done this for so long that I forget people don't know that. I'm gonna put a little bit more red just to give it, see that a little bit red and white right there just to define that ear. Okay, now if you guys want to do the tail in white acrylic paint, you can absolutely do that. I would do white and I would use maybe a touch of gray or even, I don't know, maybe the purple. I'm looking for my white, where's my white bottle? Now, if you want, again, if you have regular glue, you can glue on cotton balls. Here, I'm gonna show you. So. Tap, 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 tap. Look at what would be cute. What if I did a pink tail on my purple bunny? That would be kind of cute. Let me get a little bit of pink. Look at that. What if I did a pink, see I like to make it a little different. What if I did a pink tail on my purple bunny? And what if I did an orange and a purple? Uh, let's just try something different, right? Or you can make them plain white. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Give it a little texture. A little texture. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to do orange. So that's too bold, right? So I need to add more white. And I'm mixing it right on my canvas. I'm going to do that next. I'm going to show you that. How about if I save this orange one? I'll do the, the, I was actually going to glue it right on top of it, but I wanted to show you guys. So look, so look, I could do this one with the orange tail, this one with the purple or pink tail, that one I could do purple tail, or let me show you what it looks like with the glitter glue. So the glitter glue, again, it looks like Elmer's or Wishes. Well, I love Elmer's too, you guys. We'll give a shout out to Elmer's. We can add Elmer's to the cart. You can use Elmer's glue. Any kind of glue you have works. Now the kit, the trick to this is don't make it too thick. You just put a light coat on, right? So just put a light coat on. It's gonna look white. Let's see if this is dry, okay. Look, it's dripping. Okay, that's how thin it is. But a light coat of it, let's try it in the background too. Hopefully it dries quick. You guys, it's 68 degrees here today and I have the window open, so hopefully it dries quick. All right, I'll just put it in there and his tail. Just so you get an idea. And that is actually, you can kind of see. So it should be white when it goes on. The trick is you don't want it to get too thick and you don't have to use your finger, I'm just showing you. It's like the kids love to gob it on. And you don't want it to be too thick because then it'll have like a frosty look to it. You want it to just be a thin coat and it will dry clear, right? So it looks like white, but it's gonna dry clear. And again, it's sticky. So let me show you then. You get your Amazon cotton balls. You guys have got these on Amazon, they were like a dollar. All right, don't quote me on that, I can't remember. But Amazon cotton balls, right? So I only took one and I pulled it apart. All right, it's like cotton candy now because my, fi my fingers are sticky. So pull it apart. 
and maybe, you know, kind of make it into a circle. Elmer's glitter glue is cool. You can use Elmer, Elmer's glitter glue. You know what? All right, Jim, I don't have this in the cart either. So, that, so I have Elmer's glitter glue as well. I didn't use it though. Um, cause I don't want my bunny tail to get red. I don't want this to be red, but I can show you what it looks like in a minute. So the Mod Podge is transparent, which is really cool. So it's transparent, but it's got the glitter inside of it. So this is, you know, got the red tint to it with the glitter inside of it. Right? So if I got this, I'll just show you. I don't even know if I took the seal off yet. Hold on, let me see. I think there's a seal on it. Anyway, I'm just gonna squeeze it out. All right, look. So that's what it looks like, right? So where you guys, the Maj Paj is clear. So I just don't want that red, but you can use it, absolutely. You can use whatever you have. I, I highly encourage you to use what you have, but you gotta try the Maj Paj glitter one time. And again, I could stick it right on there. See, that looks cute, right? One little cotton ball. And if you made bunnies really small, pull the cotton ball in half. If you're, or if you, you want, you don't even have to pull it apart. But if your bunnies are really tiny, you can pull it and make two out of one cotton ball, right? So I like the cotton more than I like that. What do you guys think? What do you think, Susan? You guys like that better or these better? I like it better with the cotton. So did I put Maj Paj on there? Let's put some more Maj Paj on there. And same thing, you want to wash. You guys, when we're done here, I want you to wash out your paintbrushes in the sink with a little bit of dish soap or mild soap, any kind of mild soap. And when you dry them, all right, so doop, doop, doop. now I'm getting sloppy. Not getting you guys, I'm always sloppy. So when you wash out paintbrushes, actually I want a whole one. I don't want them to be baby, I want a whole one. I want their big tails to be the same size, so I don't want to use the one. So I'm gonna use, I'm pulling it apart so it's not so perfect. We want it to be like, fluffy stick it on there pull it apart and you could think outside the box right you could add easter eggs around it you can add a pattern you could put a sun in the sky you could put grass on the bottom there there's the cotton, little cotton. Oh, that one's, it needs a little more fluff. Don't you think? That looks better. You can kind of shape it on there. All right, let's put, you wanna see, let's see if it's drying. Can you see the glitter drying? You can see the white starting to dry. And again, this glitter, it's not gonna end up little loose pieces all over your house. It's not gonna end up inside your eyes, which oh, is not fun. So, but it's so pretty, right? You can write words. You put here comes Peter Cottontail or happy family, happy family. And I know I was gonna do something else to it. So like this part I don't like. A little bit of white. See, that's why I told you guys we go through a lot of white. A little more orange. I'm going to soften that up a little bit. Now this orange, so you see how there's yellow with that orange? I call that macaroni and cheese orange, right? I don't think it's going to be called that on your paint bottle. But if you take some orange and you mix some yellow in it, it's like macaroni and cheese color. So it's just a very cool color. So if you want that, I just that yellowish color, yellow orange, you just take some orange, oops, I got blue in there. You just take some yellow orange and you mix the yellow and orange together. Do 
give it a little more texture. And if you're creating with me, guys, I love to see your pictures, okay? You can send me your pictures. I can post them for you. I love to share them. You can tell me what supplies you're using, right? Tell me your favorite supply. Did you experiment? Did you try something new? I, I know you can embellish it. You can embellish it with whatever you have. Do you have sequins? Do you have beads? Do you have... Uh, what other things, you know, what else could be kind of cute? I don't have any, but like that Easter grass that you get at the bottom of a, uh, of a basket, you could put some grass. That's kind of messy too, but um, let's try. You want to, I like the way it looks, but I was going to say we could put some green at the bottom, like grass, but I kind of like it the way it is. You want to see what it looks like with grass? I can't tell you guys to, uh, ex you know, to experiment and then not try myself. Let's try a tempera paint stick. How about, I have a green one right here. So we can always add a little grass. You guys tell me if you like it better with grass or with no grass. So I'm just doing some vertical lines here. Some vertical lines, add some grass. My bunnies are on the grass. You like the grass? Maybe I'll, so that was just regular green. Maybe I'll put a little bit of yellow green in there. There's my bunny grass. You guys think you like the grass in there? All right, and another thing, you guys could, like I told you before, you can add them all together and make one giant painting, right? It could be panels. You can give them all names. So let's say we have Peter. We could have, well, Peter was, we can pretend. This is Peter's, Peter's cousins, how about that? So we could have Penelope, Patty, and Priscilla. We could have Paul, Patrick, and Perry, or whatever, Easter. Think of E, e names. Uh, Elliot, Eleanor, and Elijah. You guys gotta you guys gotta come up with it. And write your own book. Write a poem. Let's see. Um, write a story, make a card. So my brushes, because I don't have them soaking in water, are just starting to get hard. And I don't know if you could hear that like kind of crunchy sound. So what happens is the acrylic paint gets hard on the bristle and that's time to wash it, right? So you don't want, if you forgot, which I've done, if you forget about this and leave it there on the table it's overnight, then you have to throw away your paintbrush. It's no good anymore. So what you want to do is, all right, this is my drinking water. Wait, let me take a sip before I do this. You want to take your water and your paintbrush, wash it out, okay? Now, don't drink that, which I've actually done too by mistake. Um, but you wash it out or you can take it to the sink, right? And then when you dry it, dry it flat. Don't leave it like this. Why do you not leave it in there? Because it'll dry like an L, okay? Your paintbrush will be ruined because it'll, you know, the bristles will curl. So don't do that. You can rinse it temporarily. An hour or two is fine in the cup. Look at that. This is how I get to my sink. So I don't drop it all over the place. And again, this is just acrylic. It's going to wash off my glass. We know it's not permanent. I did not use the multi-surface paint. Mosh Posh is washable, right? It's not a permanent product. And again, the kids love doing this too, where you just mix it all together and see what color you get. That's a kind of a interesting purple color, right? That was one of the fun things at the end of art. Or the leftover paint on the tray. I would say when you're done, you can mix all the colors together. You know what color you get when you mix all the colors together? Usually you get brown. <laughs> so if you guys mix all your colors together when you're done, you want me to do, well, I have a lot of red on my plate. But this is what my plate looks like right now.
Okay, I had a lot of red on there. We could, you know what, since I have so much red, what about, so this paintbrush is hard. It's, and you want the bristles to be able to, you know, move still. So I could do. A little heart. Right? Since I have so much red paint left. If you have heart stickers, bunny stickers, however you want to, now it's getting lopsided. Recap. All right, you guys want to recap? Oh my gosh, my heart is lopsided. Maybe I put another one. Again, you could write bunny hugs, you could sign it. You like it better with the grass, no grass, hearts, no hearts. See, that's what it's all about. Customize it to your liking, have fun. Hopefully you're more relaxed and you're having a good time just watching or creating with me or waiting till later and doing it on your own schedule. Whenever you have time, you can do it. Not all at one time, you can do it at different times. So if you wanna add the cotton, little cotton balls are great. Okay, mine are real cotton. It doesn't have that like polyester synthetic stuff. Construction paper, if you wanna use oil pastels, works great. Computer paper you guys can use, regular white paper, recycled paper. These are the um, awesome temper sticks. Let me show you. This is a must-have. If you're going to create with me on a regular basis, this is a must-have. Mixed media. Again, I love the 11 by 14. Some people like it a little bit smaller. What I want you to know, if you go smaller, like 9 by 12, which is just fine, the smaller you go, the more fine motor you have to have. So when I taught kindergarten, I would teach them on 12 by 18 paper because the smaller you go, think their little hands, even though they have little hands, they don't have that fine motor developed yet, right? So big is good and kids work big. So I would, and adults do too, again, just depends. But if you're working smaller, it's just going to be more challenging. Oh, you kind of like the grass. Well, you know, again, now we can compare, right? You decide if you want grass or not. So this is, I don't even know if Susan's working with this yet. Yes, you love these. So a lot of people that work with me are using this. I have the 60 pad just because I do it all the time. And it's got the perforated part, not only just the, that part, but then right here, there's like the little, don't look at my dirty hand. This is what Maj Podge looks like when it dries. You guys see that? Okay, so look at the little dotted line right there. You see that? So it can rip out. This is like... I can't, this is probably one of my all time favorites. And let me just show you guys. So this is, again, this is what the Maj Paj, well now I got cotton ball, but this is what the Maj Paj looks like. <laughs> but it peels right off, right? You see the glitter? Look at how pretty that is. Ooh. All right, you're not gonna look like that. I, I used a hundred different supplies today. So you have temper sticks. Love these, love these. You don't want the mess. You don't wanna look like me today. Definitely get yourself some of these. You have the two ounce bottles of acrylic paint. You have the two ounce bottles of the multi-surface. If you want to try an experiment and make yourself a glass plate, right? Just for fun, put some Easter candy on it. Get yourself the all-purpose um, 25 pack of brushes. You can use this with the multi-surface paint. You can use it with the acrylic paint. You can use it with temper paint. Okay, a variety of sizes. It even has one of those sponge brushes in there. So you can use that as well. Let's see what else. You guys can use... Um, hmm. Yeah, make a bunny glass plate. So again, you guys can use any supplies that you have, just think outside the box. I'm sure there's a hundred other things you can paint on that you want to. So the, the multi-surface paint, check that out. This was a really fun color. This was again, like I said, this was aqua. 
So this one has the aqua background. This one has the sky blue background. Use the colors that you like. Use the supplies that you like. Customize it however you choose, right? Oop. I only drew with black marker so you could see it better on the screen. Some people want theirs outlined with black. This is an artwork that I would not outline in black because it's such a soft spring-like artwork that I would keep it soft. But if you want to, go ahead. I mean, again, I'm not going to tell you not to. I just drew it in black, but I covered up all those black lines. I drew it in black so you could see it better on the camera. So I hope you had fun. I had so much fun with you guys today. Thank you for all the nice comments. I am um, super excited to share all this stuff with you guys. If you have any more questions, feel free. You guys can email me. You can get go to my website and email me. You can find me on social media, Artists at Heart Pain Party. I'm Denise. I'm a certified art teacher with 20 years plus experience. I don't want to tell you exactly how many years, but um, I, I look forward to creating with you guys again. And let me know if you have any other questions about supplies, materials, uh, if you have other ideas, I would love to experiment with you and try and let's just create together. So be happy, make art, just relax and uh, pay it forward. I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for spending your day with me. Bye, you guys. Thanks, Susan. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it.